what is up my armadillo army uh i promise uh, i am working on the speed paint but uh there's been some stuff with my personal life going on and also school started because those last three videos uh, i made were uh recorded during winter break however it's a weekend today so i have time um so i recorded three videos on three different subreddits and by far the one that did the most that had the most success was uh the first one which was leopards ate my face uh i don't know why but you know milk what has success and it's also kind of unfortunate because that was also objectively the lowest quality uh video uh i i had i was using instead of the mouse i'm using now i was using my laptop's mouse pad so you could hear me clicking if you can hear that still um i was also just using my laptop's you know default microphone instead of my the one on my sony headphones so there's also that um so we're covering it again uh it's leopards ain't my face part two electric boogaloo uh and if this is your first time seeing the subreddit um that's okay there's a community description um i never thought leopards would eat my face sobs woman who voted for the leopards eating people's faces party revel in the shout and for anytime someone has a sad because they're suffering consequences from something they voted for or supported or wanted to impose on other people uh, that basically uh, says it all. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into our first post. This is OP's Trumper Facebook friend. How it started. I've had hangovers worse than the coronavirus. And how it ended. Well, I made it back home today from Quest Where, my favorite place. Eight days for what? COVID-19. I'll never again make fun of it again. In my 56 years, I've never been so sick or get so bad. Take care of yourself. This isn't a joke. It's terrible. Or, sorry. Take care of yourself for this isn't a joke. It's terrible. And then someone replies, what? And he says, yup. Eight days and that's not counting. And that that's not counting the 10 days I was sick at home before I went to hospital. Never, ever been so sick before. Uh, yeah, that pretty much, pretty much speaks for itself there. Uh, yeah. We have some, some lady, probably an interviewer, says, We all deserve a pardon. And then Trump says, I like people that weren't captured. Um, is this about the Capitol riot? I don't know who this lady is. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to figure out what this is about. It's from C-SPAN. Um, I guess, I guess maybe this specifically wasn't about the Capitol riot. Um, maybe she was talking about, um, something else, and he was saying this, and then that was the, uh, that was, you know, put together and posted because of the, uh, Capitol riot. Um, they're showing, they're showing his hypocrisy. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. I don't, I just don't know like mainstream celebrity culture. I am so out of touch, bro. It, it's fucking insane. Like literally how fucking out of touch I am. Um, <laughs> like I would probably show up as face blind on a face blind test, even though I'm not just because I literally don't know who celebrities are. Like, I just don't care about mainstream culture at all. Like, if you took, like, my favorite YouTubers and showed me their faces, I'd be able to tell, but, like, or, like, my friends or something. But, like, mainstream celebrities, I, I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm such a fucking Zoomer, dude. We have Daniel Foster. 
Uh, I don't know what he sounds like. I don't. I don't know who he is, but I'm assuming. I'm assuming he's a uh, right wing figure. Still trying to wrap my head around the fact that a bunch of people who think Bill Gates is going to inject them with a chip storm the U.S. Capitol. Storm the U.S. Capitol with their cell phones' location data enabled. Oh. Oh, sorry. Daniel Foster isn't a right wing figure. He's criticizing the uh, the Capitol riot. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. Right-wingers are generally pretty dumb. We have Matt Walsh, definitely a right-wing figure. I know who he is. I don't know his voice. Uh, one thing is for certain. If the right has any chance of surviving now, it has to so sober up and get serious. No more insane conspiracy theories or cults of personality. Push the childish bullshit aside. We have to live in reality and deal with it like adults or we're doomed. I mean, I mean, yeah, that pretty much, um, pretty much speaks for itself. 866 replies to that. Um, Right-wingers saying they have to live in reality. Bro, you... You, there is no way, honestly, that you can live in reality and genuinely be a conservative, dude. There is no fucking way. Like, <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure you have a cult of personality around you, Matt Walsh. Shut the, shut the fuck up. And the title says it's real. Jesus, r slash cropping is hard much? Okay, anyway, 2016, talking about Trump, I'm assuming. He's a businessman. Let's give him a shot. He tells it like it is. 2021, the green zone around the Capitol in downtown D.C. has been expanded after the aftermath of last week's coup attempt. Today, the president met with the My Pillow guy to discuss his martial law strategy. Virus deaths continue to spike with 90,000 and more expected dead in the next three weeks as the economic crisis accelerates. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, this kind of applies to everyone. Like, there were people, not liberals, but, like, people on the left who were like, um, heh, yeah, uh, Trump is bad, but, like, he's just the, the natural conclusion of, a uh, of capitalism and people being upset with, the. Uh, with capitalism and the establishment. And now all of those people, like Shuan Head, well, I guess Shuan Head is a liberal, but like, she's honestly more of a leftist than a liberal, like in her actual rhetoric and like points. Um, like, they're all fucking eating their words. Every, everyone, they're all, except for the dumb fuck uh, class, reduction, class reductionists and uh, tankies. Uh, yeah. Okay, these are, these are all links. I thought there were, like, three ads in a row. <laughs> I'm facing a prison sentence. U.S. Capitol rioters plead with Trump for pardons. Uh, here's the QAnon shaman. Nice, we love to see, we love to see, uh, some guy with a megaphone, we have a MAGA hat, some guy in camo, that looks like a police officer, uh, or some kind of security guard that looks like an official uniform doing fuck all, because these people are, are white supremacists and not BLM, um, Yeah, you did this to yourself, like, <laughs> you ri you rioted in the fucking U.S. Capitol. You're gonna get arrested, bro. I don't, this post has been removed, okay, I, I don't, I don't get it. Oh, is this... Oh, it's a meme about Home Alone, because the kid set up traps for the for the people. Okay. Republicans, we have the Associated Press. Uh, 
Republicans worry about a corporate donor backlash in the wake of last week's deadly capital insurrection could crimp fund worry a corporate donor backlash in the wake of last week's deadly capital insurrection could crimp fundraising yeah, okay i thought that sentence didn't make sense but it did uh could crimp fundraising complicating the party's efforts to retake the senate donor backlash fuels gop alarm about senate fund senate fundraising <laughs> i was reading i was reading like the bottom of it uh, the bottom text, and this guy was just in the corner of my eye. He looks like the fucking stonks meme. The fucking, um, the simplified head. That, that, uh, that, that's like a gray head with like a, you know, like the stonks meme. He's in, it's in other memes too. This guy looks like the fucking stonks meme. <laughs> this guy literally looks like the fucking stonks meme, dude. <laughs> Must have thought Trump only stiffed blue-collar workers. We have a Giuliani works for a crook that likes to stiff people. Crook stiffs Giuliani. Giuliani. <gasps> yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't around for 9/11. Uh, I'm. I was too young. Uh, I wasn't born yet. But I've heard other people say that Giuliani went from like a respected mayor. Oh, my cat. My cat's coming up to say hi. Hi, Blue. Um like a respected mayor who like led through New York through like the aftermath of 9/11 to like now this fucking laughing stock <laughs> off duty police were part of the capital mob now police are turning in their own ah so so hi hi blue so when you're uh, murdering unarmed black people and also and also white people, there was that one white guy who was like on his knees begging uh uh not to die. Like he he was fucking surrendering. But like um it's they, it's disproportionately uh, unarmed black people that are um killed by the police. Like vastly disproportionately uh when you're just murdering innocent people that's okay but when you ask when you storm the capital now that's a bridge too far bucko that's a that's a fucking uh bridge too far it's oh i just thought of something even more clever uh when, when you're gassing peaceful protests that's okay but when you actually join in on the mob which isn't even a peaceful protest and is a riot then that's a bridge too far it's okay to to turn peaceful protests violent but not to just join a violent protest okay okay buddy oh god the title was oops of this post and my uh my tab, which you can't see because I have the banner covering it, my tab uh, said oops on it, and I freaked out that my browser was crashing because before, uh, because I actually attempted to record this video before I got like one minute in and my uh, OBS crashed. So, yeah. When you voted for a travel ban and end up part of the travel ban, or a travel ban and ended up part of a travel ban. And we have this, uh, this crying lady. Uh, I'm not sure what this is about. Uh, I haven't been keeping up lately because there's just too much to fucking keep up with. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is about Brexit or a COVID thing. But, um, yeah. It, it either way, it works. This person says is so delusional. Hopping on a plane, he hopping on a plane heading to D.C. March to save America, soft the steel. Is so delusional. They pi they paid for a private plane to go ruin their lives. Okay, can we talk about the quality of this image?
like, okay, sure. Announce that you're going to the Capitol riot. Yeah, whatever, you know, idiot. But like, you're using the fucking impact font that that died in like fucking 2018 on top of an image with te- with text. I, I, this is what don't do. This is so bad. This is so bad. The, the qual do better. Do better, whoever made this. Do better. Come on. We're better than this. Come on. All these people getting arrested are finally learning why their parents and grandparents wore masks and hoods. QAnon shaman arrested. Uh, some other guy at the protest arrested. Some other people arrested. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy before. Arrested, arrested, arrested. And then... Regret, regret not wearing masks yet. Ha! Ha ha. He fucked us all. My friends are laughing at me right now. My daughter thinks I'm a nutcase. A nutcase. I've lost my business, then I lost my job, all in the pursuit of freedom and supporting this man. Probably Trump. He bailed on us all at the very most important time in our history. This is far from over. He did not concede. I'm pretty sure he did. Like a few days ago, but I'm pretty sure he retracted it. Did not acknowledge Biden and said transition of power, not transfer of power. Yeah, transitioning to Biden. Like, it, it these two, this doesn't mean, it, it's just word, it's wordplay, just be patient, things are coming out soon. That's not wordplay. He might think it's wordplay, because he's that dumb and bad with words. Um, like, <laughs> the, it, John Oliver did this segment where he actually took, like, a Trump speech and, like, had the transcript read in a monotone voice, and it was fucking, it was fucking incomprehensible, and then they had, like, the default, um, I, uh, uh, it's not just on iPhones, um, it's actually has been on Androids for even longer, but, like, the autofill words, uh, on, on a phone, and they did that, and, it was like almost as cohesive as the Trump speech, the autofill. Um, it's not wordplay. Uh, like literally, like if it, yeah, because the power is transitioning from being from one party to another. Um, if you, uh, if if a um, like if you. Like, give someone to something. If you give, like, something to someone, that is technically, the possession of that thing is technically transitioning from you to the other person. The, you're, fu- you're so fucking desperate, dude. You're so fucking desperate. Media lump all Republicans in with Capitol rioters. The Ben Shapiro Show. I think we need the title for context here. Man who constantly uses isolated examples to define all of the left. Upset that small examples are being used to define all of the right. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. I feel like I don't even need to comment. Liberty hangout, ha, more fucking monarchy hangout. Caitlin Bennett is literally a monarchist, just so you know. She's literally a monarchist and also literally a Nazi. Like, there were, uh, I'm not just saying that isn't everyone I disagree with is a Nazi. Uh, I don't even, n- not even all fascists are Nazis, okay? To be a Nazi, you have to believe in the JQ, the Jewish question. I don't have time to go into that. You can look it up. Uh, it's fucking s- stupid and crazy. At, like, just fucking whack-ass shit. Um, she is an actual Nazi. 
um, uh, and her and her fiance uh, run this account. So I assume if someone's your fiance, they probably agree with the things you believe, especially if the things you believe are that abhorrent. Uh, we have Liberty Hangout says, stop joining the military. Stop telling your friends and family to join the military. You f you're fooling yourself if you think that they fight for our freedom anymore. They don't protect us. They protect the most corrupt and evil people in the world. That was my, uh, <clears throat> that was supposed to be my, uh, Caitlin Bennett impression. Honestly, like, the reason she's saying it is completely wrong. Uh, they're protecting the most corrupt and evil people in the world. Like, yeah, Biden is probably like, a, a fucking corporate hack, but, like, Trump is a lot fucking worse than him, dude. Um, I actually don't support the military. Uh, I, I respect veterans exactly as much as the rest of the country, uh, the rest of the U.S. does, except I'm honest about it. Because if we actually respected our veterans, so many of them wouldn't be fucking homeless, wouldn't uh, be have untreated mental illnesses, wouldn't be fucking still wounded from their fucking battle wounds. Like, we fucking talk big game about our vets, but we don't actually give a shit. Like, if we actually gave a shit, the, the, the conditions for them wouldn't be so fucking shitty. I, can, I respect veterans exactly as much as the rest of the country. I'm just honest about it, which is I don't respect veterans because I don't support the military. Uh, but for completely different reasons uh, than uh, Caitlin Poo Poo Pants does. We have a cross post. Here we go again. Here's all the evidence you need to convict me. That alone, the Dem lives. We have this guy talks to FBI and thinks he's in the clear. He's later arrested and charged. Samuel Camargo, Camargo, I don't know how to pronounce that, stormed the Capitol and bragged about stealing something. An FBI agent called him and he allegedly uh, questioned the agent's loyalty to the Constitution. He then wrote on Facebook that he spoke to an FBI agent and said, I believe I've been cleared. The FBI has since charged him. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, get good at cropping. This no, bad. Get get good at cropping. Oh my god, this entire the entire right side of this. No, get good at cropping. Jesus. I was trying to show the full image to expand the fucking tweet, but I guess fucking not. When you're in prison and you finally got that organic sausage you were asking for? Yeah. Yeah, um, the guy was actually arrested and his mom... Hi, Blue. I'm sorry I moved. Uh, his mom actually, um, like, talked to, like, some news organization and said that he hadn't eaten in four days because the prison wouldn't give him all organic food. All right, I'm going to have to open this. We have Denna for Congress. God, family, country. Okay. Already with this slogan, you are... You are not on my good, you are not on my good side. None of these things. Religion, uh, you know, fucking Christian nationalism, homophobia, nationalism. That's what this should say. Christian nationalism, homophobia, uh, I guess, fucking, <laughs> that, that gets, so you're just repeating two of the same things with this slogan. No, this is a bad slogan. Christian nationalism, homophobia, and just, just regular good old nationalism. On parlor, Deanna Lorraine. I have never been more proud of our patriot movement than the display I ex that I experienced today at the D.C. Capitol. She We're so patriotic, we lead a coup against the government! 
Do not listen to anything the mainstream media says. We stormed the Capitol. We fought through dozens of rounds of tear gas and bullets. Bitch fucking where? And bullets and SWAT police all day. Bitch where? You dealt with taking selfies with the fucking Capitol Police. There were no SWAT police. Fuck off. We claimed... The rafters, and yes, some angry patriots broke through their building and ran through the house that we pay for. That is our house. We showed up en masse and were angry, passionate, and the spirit of 1776 emanated from every fiber of our being. Oh, so the spirit of a uh, slavery, of a uh, nationalized slavery. Nice. An incredible day we must not ever forget. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we shouldn't fucking forget. The time the right tried to fucking do a coup on the Capitol. We we should remember that whenever we hear about the fucking good principled old folksy conservatives. And every patriot should be proud AF. I cannot wait to post my footage. Oh, so she's gonna get arrested. Nice. Little Miss... Uh, Christian nationalism, homophobia, and nationalism. Which, by the way, she she looks like a condiment. Like like her face just just looks so like fucking like weird. She she looks like a fucking condiment. Like if you just squirted out a condiment out of the bottle. And then fucking put it in, like, a super low-quality fucking low-res photo with these fucking lines for no re- What is with all of the fucking bad-quality images today? Jesus Christ. She looks like a fucking condiment, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. She looks like a fucking condiment. People who do not support Trump watching the daily arrests of domestic terrorists, like, whatever. Alright, we're gonna open this. This is disgusting. I can't even zoom in on this. Okay. Honestly, everyone needs to just shut the fuck up about this guy who died. Follow the damn law and there wouldn't be issues. If you don't agree with me, I don't give a fuck because whatever you say won't change my mind. He wasn't innocent. He was doing something illegal. Oh, is this about George Floyd and BLM? My favorite cop will always be Brandenburg. End of story. Also, Trump 2020 might as well piss everyone off. Okay, so this is some black guy i'm assuming that got shot by the police and then i am super excited that i will be going to arizona christian university this fall go covid go away i'll be on this acrobatic and tumbling team and also continuing to grow my relationship with god uh... my fucking edgy atheist dude my fucking inner edgy atheist arizona christian university Arizona Christian University is a diverse community of Christians who believe that through Jesus Christ there is unity. ACU believes all people are created in the image of God and stands against the treatment of discrimination and unjust treatment based on race. Yesterday afternoon, we became aware that a prospective student posted public comments that are offensive, hurtful, and violent to our community. After internal investigation of these facts, this prospective student scholarship offer and for administration were immediately rescinded. The student who lives out of the state had never attended a, a had never attended a class at ACU or been part of our community, but we are praying for her. We are committed to teaching our students about God's love, His command, and His com- and His command that we love you. E- Love one another. During these challenging times, we pray for justice, we pray for peace, and we pray for healing our nation. Basically, the school's anti-racist. She's a fucking racist. Uh, so she got kicked out. She didn't get in. I mean, yeah, this is... This is justified. If this isn't like a four-year-old video of just, like, an ignorant person saying the N-word. This is, this is completely different, dude. 
I, I sounded so sarcastic when I said that. I didn't mean that sarcastically. This was literally saying that a black guy who got killed by a police, b- fucking one of the catalog of many, I don't even know which one it was, which one that she's talking about, um, it, that's like a good thing that she, that they got killed, and then this university doesn't want her because she she's she's a fucking racist how it started and how it's going is the title of this uh replying to real matt couch i don't like seeing this however these riots must be contained and the rioters and agitators uh need to be prosecuted we wouldn't have this type of military presence in the usa if it weren't for terrorist activity I'm assuming she's talking about BLM here. Uh, And now that the uh, Capitol riot has gone on, she she, uh, does no longer agree with this. I don't know who this is. I don't know who Matt Couch is. I, I am so off of, like, mainstream celebrities. She's right, if it wasn't for terrorists like her, we wouldn't have this type of military presence in the USA. This is the comments. This guy says, uh, the title is Watch Me Vote Against Everything I Want. Uh, R slash conservative. Ah, yes! The fucking safe space for crybabies where you need to comment for two weeks uh, on, on posts that don't have the conservatives only flair uh it, with with a uh, post that reflect conservative values and then you need to do a fucking interview with the mods to prove that you're a conservative in order to get the flair to comment on 90% of posts but yeah you're the fucking free speech no safe space advocates fucking eat my ass okay rand paul one third of Republicans will leave party if GOC of GOP senators go along with convicting Trump. Flare to users, old. Oh, oh my God, you fucking safe space ass crybabies. The fuse was lit with Bush and Romney. The majority of Americans can no longer even afford, even with an emergency 400 bill. Tax cuts for the rich and outsourcing jobs led to Trump. It's a somewhat elitist position to believe Trump is the problem rather than a symptom of the deeper problem. Tax cuts for the rich was literally Trump's policy. What are you talking about? What what are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. Also, I think this is a hot take, but I think that like liberals and leftists, uh except for dumb fuck leftists who uh refuse to ever um you refuse to work with liberals even to uh save the country from fascism uh those people i honestly i honestly consider just fucking stupid uh smart leftists uh, and liberals will honestly be thanking trump for the next like few elections because he has absolutely fucking crippled the gop with this with this fucking incompetence, he has fucking crippled the GOP. I I don't think a Republican candidate's gonna win in like for a long ass time. Which I don't like the Democrats either, but the Republicans are worse. Republican turnout fell more than Democratic turnout in most regions. Uh, in North Georgia. Uh, we have we have all the regions here. You can see South Georgia, Black Belt, Atlanta, Suburbs, whatever, Atlanta. This is the only run where Democrat fell more. North Georgia had almost 75k fewer votes than in November. Democratic votes only decreased by around 17k. Holy shit. It's because they were fucking boycotting the elections because they were mad about Trump losing. Which, 
hey, uh, that was a very smart idea of them. They should they should definitely do that more. Uh, they the uh, Republicans uh, should definitely boycott all of the elections. And that that's a really good move for the party, honestly. Uh, so smart, so smart. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how we didn't think of this, honestly. Republicans, you're gonna fucking cripple us if you just if you just boycott all of the elections. Trump said to do so. Accounts of rioters who say the president spurred them to rush the Capitol could be pivotal testimony. Is that a huge thing of Trump's face? What the fuck is this? This has to be fake, right? Was this the Trump rally that led to the Capitol riot? This is so fucking disturbing, dude. Why? Why are there big ass fucking Trump faces, dude? God. Watch. Rep. Jason Crow, D. Colorado, says majority of GOP are paralyzed with fear. From Rep. Jason Crow, I had a lot of conversations with my a lot of conversations with my Republican colleagues. A couple of them broke down in tears, saying that they are afraid for their lives if they vote for this impeachment. Holy shit! Don't fucking believe anyone when they tell you that the far left and the far right are in any way equivalent. I There are people who are much farther left than me, all right? Much farther left. Um, I would consider myself pretty far left, but there are people who are farther left than me. I have never heard of any fucking... Democrat fearing for their life because they vote for a policy that, like, isn't progressive enough or some shit. I've never heard of that happening. This doesn't fucking happen. Like, sure, there are people on the far left who do that. There are people everywhere who who individually send death threats. Right? Every public figure gets fucking death threats from everyone. But to say that it's in any way equivalent, to say that it's the fucking same, to say that, like, the Democrats would fear for their life from the far left if they, say, voted to impeach Biden if he actually did an impeachable offense, that, that's fucking insane. Okay, don't fucking believe this enlightened centrist bullshit, because the far left doesn't fucking do this shit. Doesn't fucking do it. Oh, I heard about this. Woman with don't tread on me flag gets trampled at the Capitol. Honestly, I'm a fucking edgy atheist, right? But (laughs) things like this honestly convince me that that there has to be something. There there has to be something. Like, I actually, I can make a video about this if you want. I actually have this whole, my own theory, where, like, I'm actually in, like, a simulation. And, like, some people are real, but most are AIs. Like, it sounds fucking crazy. Um, but, like, um, I, like, I, like, I don't, like, live my life any differently because of it, you know? I, I'm not, I don't do fucking tinfoil hat shit. Like, the way I live my life would be functionally the same, whether I believed it or not. Um, and I, I've never tried to convince anyone else of it, of my, like, whole simulation theory uh it i I honestly just believe it because there are so many events in my life um and like ways things played out that just felt programmed like they had to have been somehow like had to happen like i i I can go i this isn't this isn't trying to justify my beliefs or anything 
like, I, even if I did make the video, like, going deeper in depth, I would never try to convince anyone else of this, uh, because it is, like, entirely my own personal belief. Uh, it's not, like, a religion or anything. Uh, it, it's just my personal belief. Um, I mean, let me let me know if you want that, if you want me to go into my belief system. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a picture I saw of this lady with the don't tread, tread on me flag. I think she got trampled to death. Yeah, she died. That's just amazing, dude. This makes me, this, this, this just fucking reinforces that, dude. There has to be something. There, there has to be something out there. I'm, I, I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything, okay? Like, if you're an edgy atheist boy like me, whatever, this just convinces me personally. There has to be something, okay? There has to be something. Okay. This is a link. We have... Uh, this isn't... I don't think this is as political. It's not direct political. MLM boss babe being frustrated at being invited to join MLM. Okay, we're getting a break from the from the conservative, liberal, leftist, fascist, whatever shit. Okay. All right. Everyone, this is your break from politics. Okay. Take a breather. Take a breather. Everyone, breathe, everyone, breathe it in. Brace yourself. Okay. This is your break. This is your break from politics. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. So I'm totally not bashing on MLM companies because I've done my fair share and I'm in one currently, but I'm so freaking tired of these random friend requests and people who I, who I think I might know, but actually don't know, but I have a bunch of mutual friends. So as soon as I accept it, my, their profile is absolutely littered with MLM posts and suddenly the friend requests all make sense. No random stranger, ma'am. I am not interested in your weight loss products. Laughing, film, crying. Uh, even if I could afford them, I already sell Herbalife, and on top of that, I'm pregnant, so there will be no weight loss to be had for the first, for, for at least eh, five, four to five more months, dang it, and I really thought maybe I knew her and just didn't remember or recognize her, got me again, sneaky little sums of bitches they are, <laughs> sums a bitches, we got some crossover going on with Bone Apple Tea also. Got some crossover action. Sums a bitches. Bitches, of course, censored, but in this channel, we don't fucking believe in censorship, okay? We don't believe in censoring profanity because they're just fucking words. That that being said, profanity is different from slurs. I'm not gonna not gonna say any slurs except for except for dyke, because I'm a lesbian and I can say that one. I, I can say dyke. No, no other ones. Also, yes, dyke is a slur. Don't fucking say it if you're not a lesbian. Who would have guessed a lot of people who like guns are racist Nazis? This is gonna be spicy. R slash liberal gun owner. <laughs> Found at my local gun show, I'm scared. We have swastikas. Oh, that's the SS. This image is so fucking low quality, dude. Learn to focus your camera. OP, learn to focus your camera. Anyway, we have Confederate flags. We got a, we got a, whatever the fuck that is. Looks like a fucking trash bag. This, it, this image quality is so bad. Something with a sickle and star. I don't know. I can't read any of this shit. Learn to focus your camera, OP. But yeah. Snatching your people up. We have the FBI. You don't have to call and confess. We gonna find you. Ah! Ah, throwback to the post we looked at earlier. Nice. Ah, oh, alright. 
I've been recording for, I think, long enough. So this what we're going to end with with good old person who is no longer on Twitter, who got banned because freedom of speech is different from freedom to a platform. Uh, lose a terrorist must be dealt with in a much tougher manner. The Internet is the main recruitment tool, which we must cut off and use better. Oh, we got a double whammy. We got a fucking double whammy. Uh, loser terrorists might be dealt with in a much tougher manner. Oh, you mean like the Capitol Raiders? And also, now you're bitching about getting, <laughs> getting banned off Twitter. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Which you must cut off using. I think he's actually advocating against free speech here. I know that sounds hypocritical. Um, but like when you, you, if you ban something like from the internet entirely, that's, like, where it crosses the line for me. That's when it's the government doing something. But when it's a private corporation, if you're, like, Twitter is like a, a bakery, basically. Like, if someone comes into your bakery and they start fucking spewing shit that disturbs all the other customers, I think it's your responsibility to ask that person to leave, right? But if the government then goes and says, okay, you can't go into any more bakeries, that's when it draws a line, because that's the government doing it, okay? So I think he's saying, we can't allow these people to speak on the internet at all, which is wrong, yeah? You have a right to speak on the internet, just not on every single platform. You can make your own, if, if none of the platforms want you, you can just make your own platform because that's your right. You have a right to speech. You do not have a right to a platform, to an audience. It's just like with university. I literally, uh, I literally in my homeroom class uh, on Thursday, I literally, it wasn't like blood sports or something or anything. I literally debated about this because they had shown us like this PBS thing about free speech and like speakers at universities and i had said well i basically only consume political content so i feel uniquely qualified to talk about this and basically explain how you have a right to speech but that doesn't mean you have a right to speak uh in a private space um be, like if a, if a university decides if the students decide they don't want you uh if they don't want you there you they don't have to let you go on their po go on their private stage use their private microphone and speak to their private bleachers full of kids who are at that university by choice. You don't have necessarily a right to that because a university can decide they don't want you. And I, we had like 10 minutes left. So the teacher was like, anything else and I jokingly said hey anyone want to debate and someone actually did it was very civil it was calm it wasn't like we were yelling but you know we I actually debated about this recently I go on so many tangents why does anyone subscribe to this channel honestly all right so with that with the double whammy with the absolute double whammy uh and that tangent uh that is where we are going to end today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like it and you would like to be, see a speed paint for me, uh, from me at some point in the future, uh, hopefully soon, um, and more Reddit content. And eventually, uh, if you want to see the actual content that you can kind of uh, get, uh, get, get, a, get, get a taste of, get a hint of what it's going to be, uh, in the welcome to my channel video, which I will put a card for, uh, you can um, you can subscribe because I I want to have some kind of an audience. I I'm not gonna wait till I'm at like a thousand subscribers or something, but like you know around like 25, 30, whatever. I want to have support uh, before I come out with that. Uh, so if you want to see that, uh, make sure to subscribe, um, like the video if you want to see more of Leopards Ain't My Face, uh, and I will see you sometime soon.